Hey, sir. Guys, Monday morning racing here inside Indianapolis Motor Speedway. First time ever for the Indy 500. And I have been to the track before. I've been to the museum. I'm looking at it right now. I've been to it a couple of times, but I've never been for the 500. And if you're a motorsports fan, this has to be on or near the top of your list. Already a great energy, already a great crowd. It's not even near go time and dropping of the green flag. We've got about maybe three hours away from that as I'm filming it. And the energy just walking up, the energy walking into this place, the 106th running of the Indianapolis 500. What a cool deal. I'm gonna show you sights and sounds and take you along for the ride of my first ever experience of Indianapolis race day. And you may say, well, Lee, why has it taken this long? Well. Growing up in the southeast, NASCAR country, in the upstate of South Carolina, you didn't get a lot of opportunities to see an IndyCar race. But this time, it worked out just right. I just left Norwalk, Ohio, Summit Racing Equipment Motorsports Park, and I was filming the PDRA. heading for this next weekend to film Nitro Chaos at Eddyville, Iowa. And in between, in the middle, here on Memorial Day weekend, the Indianapolis 500, as it does, is going on. So, come along for the ride with yours truly, the Monday Morning Race. A lot has changed over the years, but the one thing remains the same. The Indianapolis 500 is still your greatest spectacle in racing. Congratulations to Team Penske and the new house down at turn one for our laps of historic history. Let's give away as they go through turn one. Historic cars with over winners driving. Hey! 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 Hey!
crash of the day, third caution of the day. Turn two being Calamity Corner. Sitting in the south, short shoot, and what a race. The Indy 500 lives up to the hype as the greatest spectacle in racing. It was that. From the pageantry, the, the flyovers, the military inclusion, it being Memorial Day weekend, the cars themselves, the driving, the racing, the thrills and spills of it all, and the appreciation it seems like in this particular 500, the 106th running of it, that fans are back in full force, and that was regularly mentioned throughout the day that that appreciation was there and the realization that the fans play a huge part in it being the spectacle that it is. And I would say that is definitely the case. What a great energy that was here from the fans. People were invested, people were cheering, people were doing the point thing. I love seeing that out of folks. It was all here today. We had great weather. What a historic venue. If you have not been, it should have already been on your list and get it marked off your list for sure. The 106th running of the Indianapolis 500. Congratulations to Marcus Erickson, first time winner. Chip Ganassi getting another Indy 500. This was my first Indy 500. I hope to be back soon and not later. This was a great event, and it was good to enjoy it as a fan. Maybe next year, maybe years on down the road, I can be here as some type of media type in some type of capacity, but it was good just to sit in the stands and sit around people you don't have a clue who they are, but enjoy the race with one another. So, yes, the Indy 500, it's worth it. It lives up to the height. It is the greatest spectacle in racing. Oh, the race is over. Decided to take a little walk, see some more of the speedway. Here are some iconic structures at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And man, the front stretch grandstands, what an impressive structure they are in their own right. But right here, front stretch, pit road, where all the action went down. I imagine this would actually be a good spot to watch the race. So we're here in the infield, right behind the pagoda. 
checking things out. A lot of great access after the race. Apparently even there's a long line. I was like, what is up with this long line? It's over there. I'm like, is there, are they handing out free liquor or what? But no, it's actually a line to get access into the garage. So that's pretty cool. So Indianapolis Motor Speedway providing some cool things. It seems like for the fan experience, if you're willing to hang out, to stay around. And I like it when tracks and when series do that. If you are hardcore enough, you're going to come early and you're going to stay after, give something to the fan. And it seems like they're doing that here. That's cool. Uh, the ever popular Missing Eye Indie sign. Everybody getting their photos taken. And it's right in front of the pagoda. Great photo op. Right. No, they Good? Yeah.